Hi and welcome to this Friday Fix and this week we're really going to start to look into the downswing and specifically the club face with regard to how we want a, the club face to orientate in the downswing. So previously we really start to use the T-peg to help us in the backswing trying to keep the club face closed but obviously there's many people that in the downswing will then start to really start to open this face up again. So just to give you some checkpoints initially what you'll see with many golfers who slice the ball yes they'll create this out to in path but as they do that they're going to start to really leave this face open so this lead wrist is going to start to get into lots of extension with the face being quite open there and you can see as I do that that the leading edge of the club starts to lay backwards or the club face starting to point more towards the ceiling. So what we're trying to look for in that downswing is initially at hip high down we're looking for the club face or the leading edge to be perpendicular with the spine angle. Perpendicular relative to the spine angle. Hi and welcome to this Friday Fix and in today's video we're really going to start to look into the club face in the downswing. So players that tend to really slice the golf ball you're really going to start to see them make these movements where the club starts to move obviously from out to in but as they're doing that this lead wrist starts to go into extension which in turn really starts to get the club face laying backwards or up to the ceiling. So this in turn is really going to start to get the club face open and from there it's going to be very hard for them to square up the club face. So what we're going to go through initially is just some checkpoints on what we'd like to see in that downswing and just go through an exercise that's really going to start to help create the feels that are desired for that downswing. So initially what we want to really start to feel is as we're coming down around about hip high we're looking for the leading edge to match up to spine angle so much more feeling of the club face pointing more down to the ground but even if you were to do that and start to drive the hands forward that face is really going to start to become open again so from that position we're really starting to really feel like this wrist continues to go to into an element of flexion. So that's the rotation of the wrist in that manner. So as we're coming through impact we're still looking for this wrist to go through into flexion and then that will continue to go through into flexion all the way through. So we're going to start to create a drill and exercise to really help you with that. So using a coat hanger I want you, if you're a right-handed golfer, to grip the coat hanger down the right-hand side of the grip so that the coat hanger is nearer to your right wrist than it is to your left. And what this is really going to start to do is give you feedback on whether the face is open or closed. So you can see as I start to close that face that the coat hanger starts to touch onto my left forearm. This would be the opposite obviously for a left-handed golfer. And as I open the face the coat hanger starts to touch onto the right forearm. So just to begin with we're just going to make some swings where we pause at the top then as we start to come down we're going to keep that coat hanger touching on to that uh, left wrist. Sorry. We'll then continue to keep that hanger on to the left wrist and we're going to really feel that all the way through even still into hip high into follow through. So you'll see here as I go into my follow through position that I've still got that coat hanger touching on to that left wrist in follow through. And to begin with just make me five little swings just trying to feel that position of that coat hanger really moving into that left wrist. 
once you've started to become comfortable with that, we're going to hit five balls, just half swings, really being disciplined with that. So like I say, when we grip the coat hanger, it's to the right hand side of the grip, so that the hanger is nearer that left wrist than it is the right. We'll then grip both the hanger and the club. And to begin with, we're going to hit some half shots, really fit that hanger onto that left wrist throughout the motion. And I want you to use that finished position as a real checkpoint as to where that hanger is. So is that hanger still touching onto that left wrist? So once again, we'll do five of these. I want, I'm just going to show you one more, but I'd like you to do five of these. So again, touching on. So when I finish here, I can see that hanger is touching onto that left wrist. But I'm really starting to feel that throughout the motion. Once you've done your five half swings, we'll then start to build that into full swing. So we're going to do exactly the same thing, but we're going to do it with full swing. But to begin with, keep it nice and slow. When you go slow, the brain is more aware of the type of movement you're looking to achieve. So this gives us an opportunity to train this new movement. So once again, hanger down that right hand side of the club gripping both the hanger and the club nice and slow now going through that whole full swing feeling like that hanger even into that finished position is staying on to that left wrist and you should start to really feel that flexion of the lead wrist now rather than that extension and opening of the face I'll show you that one more time so we're doing these very slow again gripping the hanger down the right hand side of the grip grip the hanger and the club and once again throughout that motion we're really going to try and keep that hanger touching on to that left wrist once you've done your five slow motion we'll then start to bring the ball in and our last five are going to be at full pace but we're going to do a little rehearsal first so you're going to practice the feel of the movement first so again getting that hanger in the right position practice the feel of the movement first okay and then you're going to execute at full speed and once again making sure that that hanger stays up against that left wrist and once again I would like you to do five of those so just to do a brief recap of the exercise the point of the exercise is to really start to feel that greater amount of flexion through that lead wrist in the downswing that keeps the club face closed helping you prevent your slice for this exercise you're just going to need a hanger and a golf club and to begin with you're going to grip the hanger to the right hand side of the, the grip from there you're just going to feel and make some nice slow swings where you feel that hanger staying on to that lead wrist once you've done a few of those and you've created that feel and awareness you'll do five balls just half swing again throughout the whole motion keeping that hanger up onto that lead wrist even into follow through once you've done five of those you're going to do five at slow motion feeling the same thing but full swing and then finally five full pace with a rehearsal before you do each one again this is giving you the imprint of the desired movement so give this exercise a try let us know how you get on if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to hit the reminder button if you're looking to continue to keep updated with our Friday Fix series. And finally, continue to keep up to date with our channel by subscribing to our channel where we start to bring you more mobility exercises and we really start to use these Friday fixes to help you with your problem.